and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in this video we're going to talk about event tickets. With event tickets you can sell tickets from your WordPress website on a post or a page or an event or basically any kind of content on WordPress. Let's take a look. So to get started you will of course need to have event tickets installed which you can find by going to the eventscalendar.com and go to the products tab and tickets and RSVP. Once you have event tickets installed and activated, you should notice in your website that you will have an option over here on the left called tickets. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the settings we have available to us. Okay, so right here, the first thing we see is post types that can have tickets. Now I mentioned in the intro that you can add tickets to all sorts of things, post pages and events, of course. Uh, but you can also add it to custom post types. If you create a custom post type, that will actually show up right here on the list and you can click the checkbox to enable it. A few other basic options like where exactly will the RSVP form and the tickets form show up on the post or page, number of tickets, threshold, login requirements. You can choose whether or not you want people to be logged in before they can RSVP or purchase the ticket. That's really handy. And then basically from here, we want to go ahead and set up a payment gateway so we can actually sell tickets and collect money. So if we click on the payments tab up here, you'll see that we can enable tickets commerce. Now that's just what we call our sort of internal payment collection system. It's basically an alternative to WooCommerce. Okay, with, with event tickets, you can't use WooCommerce. You have to use uh, Tickets Commerce here. If you upgrade to Event Tickets Plus, you can actually use WooCommerce instead of Tickets Commerce. And WooCommerce comes with some, you know, some extra features, like you can use a whole bunch of different payment gateways. Uh, with Tickets Commerce, you're uh, restricted to Stripe or PayPal. But anyways, we'll go ahead and continue with Tickets Commerce. We'll just click this to enable it and click Save. And now you can see we have some more options here. We can connect to Stripe, like I said, and we can connect to PayPal. Now it's so quick and easy to do this. And I'm actually gonna do both in this video just to show you uh, how to do it. So if you go ahead and click on connect to Stripe, we'll have another button here to click on. And this will open up the Stripe payment page. Now we can type in our email address if we already have a Stripe account, put in our password. And then I have two-factor authentication enabled. So it's gonna send me a six digit code. Once that validates, you can choose which account to use. I have several different accounts in my Stripe account, so I'm just going to pick the first one here and click Connect. And that's it. We just connected Stripe to our website, which means that when we create a ticket on an event or a post and somebody buys the ticket, the money will go from their credit card to my Stripe account. And then from there, it'll end up in my bank account after a few days. Uh, we do just need to make sure that we enable Stripe and then come down here and click Save. And that's it. Super easy. If you ever want to disconnect Stripe, you can simply click this button. Uh, sometimes if you're experiencing some issues, we'll ask you to come in here and just disconnect and reconnect. And a lot of times that fixes uh, some of the, the random little issues that come up. But that was Stripe. That was super easy. I'm going to go ahead and actually disable Stripe. And then I'm going to go back and we're going to connect PayPal so I can show you how easy that is. So up here, I'll just click on the PayPal tab. I'm going to click connect automatically with PayPal. Similarly, it's going to bring up a little PayPal page here. I'll put in my email address, put in my password, get past all the pop-ups, and click Agree. Again, that's it. Super simple. Come back here. We'll give it a few seconds to think. And now it's updated. Once again, I want to click this to enable it and click Save. And that's it. That's how easy and fast it is to connect Stripe or PayPal to our website so that we can begin collecting payments. On that note, let's go ahead and add a ticket to something and just kind of see what the checkout process looks like. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm actually just going to say new event because I have the events calendar installed so I can create an event. And I'll just call this some event. We're not getting fancy here. Someday in the future. And what we're looking for is a ticket block. Now, if for whatever reason you don't see this ticket block, maybe you're adding this to a poster page, you should be able to just click this box right here and search for the tickets block. Um, we can't add it because we already have one. You can only have one ticket block um, on a poster event. But you can see right there is the ticket and the RSVP blocks right there. So if you don't see it here, just go ahead and add it. But since it's here, I'm going to click on it and click Add Tickets. And we'll call the ticket Going. And we'll make it $5. Ticket capacity, let's say there's only 10 available. And by default, it's going to go on sale right away, and then it'll stop being for sale when the event starts. So I'll just leave that alone. And I'm just going to click on Create Ticket. Now, don't forget to click Publish up here. 
and then we will view the event and see what this looks like. Okay, so we have a ticket block here. It's called going, $5, I'll add one, and click get tickets. Here's the checkout process. I can choose to pay with my PayPal account or I can put in a credit card number. Either way, the money will go to the PayPal account that has uh, been connected to the website that we just did a few minutes ago. And that's it, very simple. Credit card number, expiration date, purchase tickets, done. That was an event. Like I said, you can add it to other things. So just to, just to show you that, I'll go ahead and click on new post up here. And as you can see, there's nothing there. So like I said, we'll wanna click on this and search for tickets. As you can see, it's not showing up there. That's because I did not click the checkbox in settings. So if you experience the same issue, make sure to hop on back to the dashboard, go to tickets, settings, and make sure you have post selected and all the different types of content you want to be able to add tickets to, and then click save. Now, if I go to new post and click this, we should be able to find the tickets block. There it is. We'll click on that. And just like before, click add ticket, going, it's hundred dollars, only five available. Create the ticket. I should probably give it a title. And let's check this out. There we go, hundred dollar ticket. Won't let me add more than five because there's only five available and I could go ahead and purchase. Now, everything you just saw was included in our free event tickets plugin, but we do have a premium plugin called Event Tickets Plus, which has a bunch of features that you didn't see in this video. For instance, if you have Event Tickets Plus, you can actually connect to WooCommerce, which opens up a lot of options with regards to payment gateways and some other cool features. With Event Tickets Plus, you also have a custom registration form, which means you can collect some information from your attendees before they can purchase a ticket. We also have a QR code scanner that you can use an Android or an iPhone to scan QR codes at the door, and a few other features that are really, really cool, and you should definitely check them out at theeventscalendar.com under the Products tab. Well, I hope you guys found this video useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.